So I looked on my analytics page to find out what you guys have been watching this week. And the fourth watched video of this week by you guys, my followers, is this one. It's titled Trump Nearly Taken Out Emergency Angry Meme Review. This is by a channel I've never heard of called Angry Cops. So I have no idea what to expect, but I mean, you guys are watching it, so I thought I would check it out. So don't get mad at me if it's overly insensitive. All right, the original video is down below. Let's check this out. So in a video I did last week where I covered like just presidential assassinations, I gave a lot more of my opinion to what I think like the effect of that assassination attempt will will do. So if you want a little bit more on that, um, I'll try to link it here at the end of the video. So anyway, I, I don't know what's going on here. I mean, the memes, of course, I mean, the memes hit the net very, very quickly. The conspiracies are all out there now. Everything is still in scramble mode. We're not even a week out from it yet. And yeah, it's getting kind of crazy. So let's see what goes on here. I have no idea what the style of this channel angry cops is. So uh, I don't know if it's something I should watch more of. Let me know. Trump after getting up from the post Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Emergency <laughs> angry meme review. Okay. Holy crap. Except that wasn't a Jason Bourne. Presidential, an attempted assassination of a former president and a front runner in a presidential campaign for the Republican Party. So is this the, the guy, well, the champ, the Obviously, it's in the news. Everybody knows about it. We've seen the images over and over again of Trump raising his fist up, <laughs> looking like a superhero. I, I'm going to knock it. Okay, so. I just got back from a vacation uh, today. Over and over again. I'm I was um, down in Southern California, and one of the t-shirt shops in uh, Newport Beach <laughs> that makes a lot of like like modern meme shirts, like there's a the Huck Tua shirt and stuff. There was a shirt. They were selling a shirt of this. This was like three days after it happened. They got on, and I mean, it's it's amazing how people will will. We'll do that. Yeah, how quickly that'll happen. But I'm not gonna lie, this picture goes pretty hard. It's going to be super famous in history. Uh yeah. <laughs> Trump raising his fist up. <laughs> Looking like a superhero. I don't even think of it. I'm built a little differently, I guess. I did a live stream on I do wonder angry. when you have literally that close of a call. Like he should have died. I mean, for, for, it was just that split second where he turned and all that stuff, like should have died. Like, how does that affect you going forward? Again, it can like give you PTSD. Um, it can embolden you, I guess. I think, I don't think it's going to have a PTSD effect. I don't, I don't think, I don't think Trump gets PTSD from anything or would ever get it from anything. So, but I know for me, uh, it changed the way I view stuff. I think I would be more of the, the PTSD thing. All right, angry stream. So is this guy, is he like, is he a gun tuber? Is he military history? I just, I don't know him, but I was looking at his stuff in the background and yeah. Streams channel, but pushing all that aside, of course, the memes came flowing. Oh, and wow, there's a real propensity for dark humor in those memes. So strap in, and if you are easily offended, you might want to skip this video. Okay. But of course, before we get to the memes first, I'll I'll give that same one out there. We're just going to check this out and hopefully I can talk some history along the way. So we'll see. A word from this video sponsor, Vanish Holster. Let me start by saying if this is not the okay, most Okay, so he's definitely a gun to right? Vanish has a 100% money back guarantee. I did hear that the that. shooter, it's the kid, it's durable. It's was wearing like a gun, you, you can like fit a gun tuber. You can fit in it um, and it's ambidextrous. Shirt. Who else one of the can channels say it has all those things. It's no Only real gun tuber I know of is and minimizes branding. Stank. And if you're a big fella, it fits up to a 46 Herrera, inch waist. A perfect fit for every handsome boy. And don't worry about the gun imprinting because it hugs it tight to your body, unlike some holsters, which let everybody know that you're concealed like carrying. Big, I, but on top of that, guy. I'm partnering like, Vanish because they're giving away a $5,000 like dream vacation. If you purchase a Vanish holster right now in the month of July, just click the link below in the description, get yourself the most comfortable holster you've ever had, and you're in. Click the link, get the most comfortable holster you've ever gotten, and get the chance to win a dream vacation. Now let's get back to the memes. Nobody is born cool, except of course, 
Dude, I'm telling you, that <laughs> this image is iconic, and there are a lot of it's memes be, using uh, that I mean, Donald Trump uh, template. No like this one. Convicted felon. Multiple baby mamas. Doesn't pay taxes. Survived an assassination attempt. Black vote secured. Oh, Checkmate, oh, libtards. Like they're saying, it's going to give like street cred, the thing that people say Republican Party has lacked so long and finally got some... Uh, from street cred there. <laughs> what do you guys think about that? Oh my that? God. When you won the argument, you was heaven with your wife. <laughs> hey gang, did you, you see? Because you come out bloody. Because <laughs> you, you come out bloody and you're like, I won. How do you know you won though? You don't win. You don't win arguments with wife. You just, you lose or you don't win. Those, those are your two options. <laughs> the argument, you was heaven with your wife. Hey gang, did you see? New footage emerges of the law enforcement response during the initial shots being fired yesterday. Oh, gosh. Hey, That's the biggest stuff now. So I'm filming this on Thursday, the uh, the 18th. And that's the stuff that's really now taken over the whole narrative was is the Secret Service. Um, the Secret Service, they say, you know, is just getting ridiculed um, by people. And I saw like a clip with an interview of that. The, um, the woman who's the I think she's like the director of the secret service or something and she in the what i saw did not do a very good job she was honestly putting it more like on the police and like everybody did their job and all this stuff but like they just didn't delegate the jobs i mean so we'll see what kind of effect this has on the future of the secret service uh, of public events by you know current or former presidents i don't know uh, we'll see what happens with that but it's definitely adding to the conspiracies too, you know, is, are they in on it? Uh, they just let it happen. Were they part of it already hearing like the multiple gunmen like stuff, you know, kind of like with JFK. Now, a lot of that stuff I see is on social media that is, uh, algorithm driven, which means that it's, um, it's totally based on engagement, meaning somebody will intentionally put something crazy out there just for engagement. So the more that it gets either likes or comments or views, the more it's going to get into the mainstream feed. And then it becomes, you know, gets all over the place. People do that intentionally now, especially with the monetization of, uh, you know, like, like Twitter, um, where it's just, now it's, Twitter is who can engagement farm the best, which is a horrible thing for misinformation, by the way, that you will get literally get promoted for having the craziest takes. Look at this. New footage emerges. Oh, yeah. What's the matter with these cams? Die, milkbait. He hates these cams. Stay away from the cams. Lee Harvey Oswald Jeez. to the guy who he went Godola? after Trump after seeing his aim. Wait, wait. Lee Harvey Oswald to the guy who went after Trump after seeing uh. his aim. Yeah, so he Oswald gets talked about as being, you know, so uh, I guess such a good shooter. Right? He's the one who killed um, JFK. And this kid had, what, four or five shots or something like that. Did hit him, hit the people behind, unfortunately, and uh, killed some, uh, killed at least one couple hurt. You know, that was tragic. Mimsy, I said distract the Secret Mimsy. Service, not attract the Secret Service. Notice the demolition huh? label on his shirt. The guy who shot at Donald Trump, nearly assassinated a president, killed an American citizen. Turns out he was like a fire chief. He was wearing a demolition ranch shirt, which means yeah, that, who's that? Matt Carricker, Demo that Man, guy? is now tied to the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. Okay, so I don't, I have no idea who this guy is. I don't know. I'm not into the gun tuber circle, you know, of people. So, like, who is this guy? Is this one of those guys that's just like, is he really liked? Um, funny dude. Like, is this, is this bad for him? Like, will this have an effect on him, you think? Like, I have no idea. And that would, you know, you know, be bad, but it's like, unmistakable about how things will get tied to him. And I don't know. Hopefully they don't, you know, people, I, I again, I have no idea who this guy is. If they're gonna again think he is somehow indirectly responsible, out of Trump, a president, former president, front running candidate, because the shooter wore his merchandise. Oh man, that is hysterical. I'm sure Matt was having a heart attack when he originally discovered. Oh, gosh, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> In some weird way, did it like boost sales by someone? Oh. 
That guy's wearing one of my shirts. It makes me kind of jealous. I almost wish that somebody would do crime in one of my cool shirts. By the way, you can get some of these cool shirts at angry-cops.com. Merch plug, top is he news. A top, like Biden cop reminds cop? everyone that he has presidential immunity. What are you suggesting there, Duffel oh. Blog? The current <laughs> sitting president might have something to do with this assassination attempt? Ooh. Hey, I mean, okay, I covered that too. Um, check out my my commentary that went along with the the Legal Eagle video about the Trump immunity kind of thing and the Supreme Court ruling. And this was the thing that people were saying, like, is this going to happen now? You get immunity as a official presidential act. So what's going to keep them from taking out uh, political, you know, opponents or something like that. So that's not going to help the, the you know, quell the, the, um, the conspiracy talk out there. Oh gosh. Literally a couple weeks after. <laughs> That's not how the game is played. You can't two. do that. Fuck, believe this shit, nigga. Talk about oh my god, the key. All right, Wilkes Booth is the one who killed Lincoln, and that one's such a wild story, right? Because it's out in public. Six Semper Tyrannis, right? Jumps, uh, gets Lincoln, jumps off, briefly breaks his leg, goes on a manhunt there. It's like these are the guys that were, you know, successful. <laughs> They're coming up in memes. But there's the people that were unsuccess unsuccessful. We talked about that in, uh, in that video I covered about former presidential assassinations, you know, like the guy who attempted to kill Roosevelt, who said he was visited by, you know, McKinley's ghost or the guy that tried to shoot Reagan and was to do it to impress a preteen like uh, Jody Foster, like all these other weird things out there. In one, it, there's no words. It's just the oh, key was change. That, uh, Shinzo, Shinzo Abe, JFK, Shinzo. Donald Trump. Notice where the holes are. Now you get it. And speaking of Shinzo Abe, the memes were top tier with Shinzo Abe. Oh my For gosh. example, you redirected the bullet, didn't you? You crazy yellow bastard. <laughs> By the way, I remember this. You remember him looking up? That was the eclipse. Was that like 2018 or whatever? And you just like looked up at it. <laughs> that that ended up being a really funny picture that was around for a while. Like, that's our president. <laughs> the bullet, didn't you? You crazy yellow bastard. <laughs> I don't even know if I can do this without being overly offensive. And no one shall harm my Anakama. Lord help me. Oh, and there's more Shinzo Abe. Just <laughs> redirecting the bullet with the samurai sword. Oh, and gosh. Just like, and, and then looking down. Ching. He's looking down on Trump like he's Obi-Wan and he's a part of the force. <laughs> they made your own Van Gogh. Van Gogh. <laughs> In case you didn't catch it, CNN... Uh, that gets played the Van Gogh. Wasn't the, isn't the story? So Vincent Van Gogh, by the way, impressionist art, Van Gogh, uh, with Van Gogh might be my favorite art style, especially of like classical art and artists. I love Van Gogh work. Um, I have Starry Nights somewhere in my house. I think I moved it again. Um, love that stuff. But isn't the story with him? He like removed his, he cut off his ear and like gave it to like his crush or something. I forget the exact story, but all the creative people, I swear every creative person in history, whether it's modern, medieval, ancient, whatever, all has a weird thing about them. It's like, you don't get to be that, that creative and that talented with also, without also being just weird. <laughs> Made a little bit of a boo-boo and said like there's that no normal originally <laughs> Donald Trump fell. Yeah. Not a great look, CNN. Wait, what? Secret Service rushes Trump off stage after he falls. Well, he, I mean, they also knocked him down. Okay, that's weird. You are really <laughs> retarded. That's Even a stretch. Elon Musk chimed in <laughs> live on Elon, CNN. Oh gosh, Caesar injured in group hug. <laughs> <laughs> the March of Ides, beware. So yeah, it was actually <laughs> a hug. That's they said. Hey, um, Mr. Dictator for Life. We all want a group hug. All of us senators, okay? And then a two brute. That's pretty funny. Elon's been tweeting some weird stuff. It seems like about the um the, about the assassination attempt too. That oh man, he's a weird dude, isn't he? CNN clumsy Trump hits head on bullet. Oh, it's Babylon, Babylon B. B chimes in. Yeah. JFK falls Satire. really, really hard at rally in Dallas. Oh, oh, gosh. Of the many traditions of openness and <laughs> That's democracy actually that have marked the history of this city. Amir missed me. <clears throat> when you try to assassinate Trump. <laughs> Wait, I've never seen that Reagan clip. Amer Was this before or after the uh, call? 
I forgot the guy that tried missed to kill me. Him. When you the, the history of this city, Amir missed me. When you tried that to was assassinate quick Trump, everyone watching the news unfold. Yep. Oh man. Yep. Boogaloo boys were yep. ready. Had Donald Trump died, ew, that would be. I think the start of some insane shit. <laughs> oh, for sure, because like we already know, people have a propensity for for conspiracies and 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 in that and uh and it's art and it's yeah he didn't even die and it's already like getting out of hand within a week with all the people doing that. But again, I I also believe it's engagement farming um, for social media. I think that's a huge part of it. That's why we're getting it. But yeah, it would obviously be way worse because um. Especially if, you know, and like it was the kid, the kid ends up dying. So you don't get to like question him, which really makes things more conspiratorial. And you have someone like Oswald who um, was killed by an assassin as well, which added to more of uh, the the conspiracies because it's like, who is covering him up? Like somebody's covering up. Why would you do this? You know, <laughs> notice this photo of the president. See anything different? Combat action badge and a purple heart. Because Trump is a pogue like is this us. You're going to be all messed up looking <laughs> Sniper, now. Sniper with a full rifle kit, bear crawls to the closest roof at rally of presidential nominee. Secret Service. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Did you guys hear they're going to be doing a documentary on the assassination attempt? Yeah, check it out. The Netflix. Yeah, that's the Holyfield. Hey, who I had mentioned that before, so if you guys don't know, Evander on Holyfield. The assassination attempt? Yeah, check it out. He was beating Mike Tyson in a boxing match and out of this weird, desperate, I don't know, moment of madness, he, he uh, uh, Tyson bit a chunk of his ear off. So weird, such a weird, like <laughs> a weird reaction to have to someone is like bite that. So is that what he's going to look like though? Is that what Trump's going to look like now? Like he's going to be messed up, right? At least have some scarring. I mean, you can get surgery or whatever, but I've just seen the, you know, he's wearing like the, the, the patch over it right now, but it'll always be something he can, uh, uh, you know, point to the Netflix adaptation the sign of strength. Hey, whose job is it to check the roofs? CIA <laughs> secret service. FBI? Gotta put the police there too. Nobody. Nobody's nobody's checking the roof. No. Cause that's what I heard. I heard from the lady that was doing social or social security, uh, the, uh, Secret Service that they had like the perimeter, which is like whatever, however they define the perimeter. And that's like the Secret Service. And then there's the police who have like the outer perimeter. And it's like they're both pointing fingers, I think, about who was responsible for those other areas. OK. Oh, my gosh. This this CIA or CIA, maybe this Secret Service woman is just getting bombarded right now i'm not sure what her job is uh specifically Why, what? but if it's Why? not jumping on top of the president when he's getting shot at she did a great job <clears throat> the wage gap oh, oh no oh, oh. no okay no right? boo i get they're memeing it there but yeah okay low blow unfair i mean that's just a still i mean she's she's getting there eventually she probably came really late up there a memer fixed it already Somebody also said that she looks like Shane Gillis. Like, what's with Shane Gillis trying to like protect? I've been covering Shane Secret Gillis Service stuff agent. recently. What's the deal? Check it out. I see the resemblance. Me being removed from Olive Garden after eating all of their breadsticks. Because <laughs> we all know, like, at least fifty percent of the reason we go to an Olive Garden is because of those breadsticks, dude. I just like getting the like the soup and breadsticks. Like, I'm down just with that because. Let's be honest. The actual dishes are super mid, you know, Olive Garden is like one, maybe tiny step from an Applebee's, but dude, those bris, uh, the, the, the breadsticks and like get that, uh, the, the gnocchi chicken gnocchi soup. That's what I like, dude. I do that. I'll eat all their breadsticks. Yep. Kick me out. CNN, MSNBC, I I by Democrats, CBS people? news, ABC news. Am I radicalizing people? Oh, it's a libertarian thing. Okay. So libertarians are the biggest conspiracists of all. Um, <laughs> going in there, but am I radicalizing people? That's every mass media outlet. So they're doing the, uh, you know, the lib stuff. No, it's Trump who is literally mustache man. <laughs> See, you could do that with all the, like everything now. No, it's Trump who is literally Hitler. You'll wonder how this, all this is where as a, as a, um, 
AP AP teacher, AP world history teacher. We would look at a meme. Maybe we should look at memes. They should start putting memes in the test because they already do like uh, photographs or maps and paintings and stuff like that for document analysis in our national test. They should just start doing memes now. And this could be one too. And you could be like, you know, because uh, there is a there's a source on here that says being libertarian. So in this, you would have the student explain what's the point of view of the author and why is it important to know who the author is in their interpretation of this event or whatever it is. So like in this one, you can be like, oh, they're libertarian. So naturally, they probably uh, do not like some of the uh, more left leaning uh, uh, news outlets. Although libertarianism um, does have quite a, a big range um, there are, you know, some that might be considered left or right. It's more of a authoritarian versus uh, non-authoritarian. Uh, it's on that axis of the, of the political compass. But anyway, I could have my students do, you know, literally something like about, something like this and see what they see what they say about it. No, it's Trump who is literally Hitler. You'll wonder how this all started. Why didn't they have the Secret Service on that roof? No reason to have the CIA and the Secret Service on the same roof. Oh, snap. What are Inside you job. Tell me that I can dodge bullets? No, Donald. When you're <laughs> ready, you won't have to. Good old Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy. People that don't know, Teddy Roosevelt See, was shot while giving a speech to become president. Well, he, and he, he went, took it. No. I think he beat the shit out of the guy. Like, he tackled him and, and then stood back up with his no. fucking wound. And he's, he's mixing Andrew Jackson and Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, Roosevelt was shot and he went to go and, and went to a speech and made a speech there. Andrew Jackson, though, was a guy uh, came up to him, gun jammed, and Jackson nearly beat him to death, like with his cane, beat the crap out of him there. You know what would have been something that could have elevated him into that status of like Teddy going and, and with the bullet in him carried that bolt the rest of his life going and doing that speech is if he had been shot like that. And then just like, I mean, it probably wouldn't have been up to him, but be like, no, I'm going to finish my, my, my speech here at this rally. If he had come back with that while just prefer profusely bleeding, then he could be up on that Teddy status. But I don't know the, the, the protection, secret service, all of that stuff was not what it was back then. And just continue Early to 1900s. give the speech like, all right, can't kill a bull moose with a bullet, baby. Ooh. I'm done being an expert in Israel, Ukraine and Russia. Now I'm an expert in security, <laughs> snipers and terror. It's the same people. Says the Internet. I love God, that, actually. There are some. Wild, I love that. Fantastical ideas and tweets going out there from people that don't know dick about shit. Secrets. It's true. Like conspiracists, they love that. They were probably so happy to like have a new thing. Cause I don't want to just investigate the same one over and over again. You want a new one all the time. All right. Secret service three minutes before the shooting. Oh, he's got the, the, the covers on service three minutes before the shooting. What building? Now that's all the memes that I have for you guys today. There were more and they were extra spicy because they were ones made with photos of the dead shooter. Now I can't put them here on YouTube because yeah. it'll get taken down and you'll get violations and strikes, but they will be on Pepperbox. What's Pepperbox? Glad that you asked. Myself and a bunch of gun tubers like Brandon Herrera or Matt Carricker, and of course Donut Operator who does police related content. Well, we'll oh, be all these join together crew. because we okay. see that YouTube is going away. Those are like the guys from us all uh, extinct. On Pepperbox, unsubscribe podcast, uncensored, and with additional YouTube. content like the memes Watching that I can't show you here, but we'll show you there. So if you want to see the uncensored ad free stuff, go to Pepperbox. The best way to support the channel is get yourself a shirt. I got a new shirt coming out. Boom clean shaven and misbehaving easiest way to support the channel is leave a comment what do you think happened how did this guy get up on the roof and pop off rounds at donald trump what is going on here what do you think would have happened if he got caught like whoop all right see you next time weirdos <laughs> final thoughts all right so that was my first time checking out angry cops and look again looking at those memes there i know they're going to keep coming out you know we cover memes here from time to time so it can be, I guess, kind of fun to uh, to do that, even with modern political stuff happening out here. So um, I'll raise a few questions that I did in that other video with about assassinations. Um, if you didn't see that one, I'll link it. But, you know, what effect do you think this attempt will have on the 
uh, the the upcoming election. There's a lot of, uh, of happening right now. Right now, there's a lot of rumors about like Joe Biden uh, potentially pulling out, maybe paving the way for you know Vice President Kamala Harris or something. There's a lot of things that can still happen in the election. But let's just say you know things staying the way they are. What effect this will have? Now, I had talked about how things like this historically um, have helped candidates and can help them. It can, it can uh, improve their uh, perception. It emboldens their base that already likes them. Um, it can also give sympathy to people that may otherwise have not have thought of a person in a certain way, deserving of sympathy. So I don't know now the, the polling, I mean, it's again, it's only been a few days has at least said that it hasn't really changed much. It's not really moving the needle for four people. So we don't know exactly. Sometimes this stuff, uh, the legacy of it really can come after and kind of retroactively can talk about its effect. Sometimes it's hard to, to make it, you know, something about causation rather than correlation. And we'll see what happens there, but there's a lot going on um, that can still happen with the, uh, with the election here in this next hundred days or so. Anyway, um, this is a channel I should be checking out more, especially if they cross into history stuff. You know, I want to know, but you guys can let me know that. And with that, we'll see you all next time.